the first step of metallic Toscana finish is to take the Profo Toscana plaster and thin it with some water to make it more rollable. It's also very tintable with latex paint or with universal color. So you only need about 30% coverage. To flatten some of these peaks, we'll use a magic trowel that's been first hydrated with a sponge and that lets the blade flow over without too much trouble. Keeping the blade clean really helps for the overall finish. After the thinned Toscana is allowed to dry hard, we'll still knock some of these nibs off with some sandpaper. This is a very durable finish that would be appropriate for hallways or any high traffic areas. Next we'll roll on a full coat of the Profo silver metallic paint. Once again these are rather sheer colors that can be tinted to a whole range of different hues but for more solid coverage you can always apply a base coat of a similar colored latex paint. This will give us a nice reflective surface again for the glaze to be applied over top of. After the second coat of metallic paint is allowed to dry, we can apply our asphalt and glaze with a roller or a brush. These glazes are applied thinly and then manipulated with simple tools such as rags, cheesecloth, or even a dry brush. Because this glaze dries a little faster than most, it's advisable to work in smaller sections. First we'll try a dry brush. This can be used as a pouncing tool or it can be used to drag and accentuate the texture. Another idea is to use a dry cotton rag. This can be used to, to blot or to wipe. This will highlight the texture a little bit more and creating like a secondary texture. And then finally, if you want to really bring out the silver undertone, you can use a clean cellulose sponge that's been dampened with a little bit of water and just very lightly pull some of the glaze off of the high surface for a little bit more contrast. This gives it more of an aged metal look. And that completes the metallic discount.